Hi. Now, in this part of the question, we're given this curve y equals 16 over x squared minus x over 2 plus 1, where x is greater than 0. We've got this region R trapped between the lines x equals 1, the x-axis, and where it crosses the x-axis at the point 4, 0. And we've got to use integration to find the exact value for the area of R. So if you'd like to have a go at this, if you haven't done so already, I'll give you a moment just to pause the video. OK, so to do something like this, to work out the area, let's just write that down here, the area of that region R. It's going to equal always the integral of your graph. This is y in this case, with respect to x, going between your limits, x equals 1 to x equals 4. So just mark those in there. So to integrate this, I've got to integrate them between 1 and 4. That's my x values. I've got to integrate 16 over x squared minus x over 2 plus 1. But to integrate this, I need to modify my terms. And 16 over x squared can be thought of as 16 multiplied by 1 over x squared. And 1 over x squared is x to the power minus 2. For this one, minus x over 2, that's the same as minus a half x. I'll still leave it as x over 2, but think of it as minus a half x. And then we've got plus 1. And we're integrating all of these three terms with respect to x. So do put that in brackets. OK, so in the usual way, when we're integrating something like this, just add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So if we add 1 to the power of minus 2, you get x to the power minus 1, divide by the new power. So we divide by minus 1. For this one, it is thought of as minus a half x at the moment. Add 1 to the power, that would be x to the power 2, and divide by 2. So you're going to end up with minus x squared over 2 by 2, which is 4. And then the integral of a constant is going to be 1x in this case, or just simply x. And if we put it between our limits, we'll just put it in these square brackets for the moment, those limits then are between 1 and 4. So just carry on down here. And that means that, therefore, our area R is going to equal, well, we just need to substitute our values in. In fact, before I substitute in, I'm just going to clean that up. OK, we got minus 16 here and multiplied by x to the minus 1, 1 over x. That's going to give us minus 16 over x. Then we got minus x squared over 4 and then plus x. And that then is going between the limits 1 and 4. Substitute the 4 in next. And if we do that, we've got, for the first section here, it's going to be minus 16 over 4, minus, and then you've got 4 squared over 4, and then plus 4. And then next, we subtract what we get when we put 1 through this. And if we put 1 in, we've got minus 16 over 1, minus 1 squared, over 4 plus 1. OK, and working this out, you should find this comes to minus 4. And then from this, we subtract the result of this bracket, which is minus 61 over 4. Work this out, and what you should get is 11.25 or 11 and a quarter. And being an area, I'm going to write square units there. You don't have to do that, but I just feel it looks good. All right?